Hello, in this video, we will explain term-wise computer application syllabus for CBSE class 10 for 2022 exam. In our last video, we explained the assessment scheme that CBSE is going to use for this year. If you have not watched the video, you can watch it in the link below. Basically, to summarize, instead of one board exam, there are going to be two term exams one in November-December and other in March-April next year with 50% syllabus each. Term 1 exam will be held in your school and Term 2 exam will happen in centers assigned by the board. Term 1 exam will be of 90 minutes and will have only MCQ questions. Term 2 exam will be of 120 minutes with proper written paper including short and long answers as well. Term 1 exams can be evaluated at school as well, but Term 2 exam will be checked by the board. Along with this, they have given Plan A, Plan B, Plan C and Plan D to list out how exams will be conducted if they are impacted due to COVID. From the syllabus perspective, one important declaration is that they have decided to rationalize or reduce the syllabus like they had done last year. So let's take a look at the syllabus. Now before pandemic, class 10 syllabus was divided into these four units, networking, HTML, cyber ethics, and scratch Python programming, totaling to 50 marks of theory and then 50 marks of lab exercises. Now last year, the fourth section on scratch Python programming language was completely cut off. The 10 marks for this section was distributed equally between networking and HTML. So both of them increased by 5 marks to 15 and 25 respectively. This year, the overall syllabus is same as last year with no scratch and Python. Now this syllabus is divided into two terms of 50 marks each. Cyber ethics and half of HTML goes into term 1 and computer networking and other half of HTML goes into term 2. If you see the syllabus for term 1 in detail, first is computer ethics which has 5 topics to cover so you can say roughly 2 marks per subtopic. Next is HTML. So how is this HTML split? Everything in HTML starting from introduction, HTML tags, font tags, inserting images, and HTML forms is in term 1 for 15 marks. Remaining part is moved to term 2. Now let's see syllabus for term 2. Term 2 has whole of computer networking for 15 marks. This includes topic of internet, services available on internet, web services and mobile technologies. HTML is of 10 marks. The first half which is in term 1 is removed. The second half of HTML, which is embedding audio and video, creating tables, linking and cascading style sheets, is in Term 2 syllabus. So this explains the syllabus for Term 1 and Term 2. Now Term 1 exam is in November-December timeframe and Term 2 exam is in March-April timeframe. Since this is an easy subject, my suggestion is to pick up computer applications first to study and finish it so that you can focus on core subjects of maths, languages and sciences. Now before we come to the study plan, let's see what kind of paper you can expect for term 1. Last year CBSE had moved to new paper format where paper was divided into two parts. Part A had MCQ and case study based questions and part B had short and long answer questions. For term 1 exam, you can consider that the whole of part B will be removed and part A will be for 25 marks. In it, section 1 will now have 21 MCQ questions where you have to attempt 15. Then there will be two case study questions, one for cyber ethics and one for HTML. In case study, a small paragraph or HTML code might be given to you and you will be asked MCQ questions around it. Most of the questions will be logical reasoning where a situation will be given to you and you have to choose the correct option. 
Now that you know the rough pattern of term 1 paper, let's cover how you are going to study for the exam. My suggestion is to start with cyber ethics. Reason being that it is the easiest and you can finish it very quickly. Here there are 5 subtopics, so you can roughly expect 2 marks on each subtopic. All of these topics are very easy and we already have case study based content and summary sheets. Along with it, you need to practice as many MCQ as you can. You will find the study material for this in the link given in the description. Next you should pick up HTML. Here you have the first half of HTML syllabus since second half is in term 2. For MCQ, do not expect many direct questions like what is HTML or explain this tag. You will get application based questions means what tag or attribute to use in a given scenario or what is the output of given code samples. Here when we talk of case study, it might actually be a piece of HTML code where you are asked to fill in the blanks or a piece of code where you are asked the expected output or explain how the tags are used to give a given output. You can watch our videos on HTML and visit our HTML question bank link given in the description below to prepare for this. This covers the study plan for term 1. If you have any doubts, you can always join our online and offline prep classes for your exam. Thank you and all the best.